Let me ask you a question. Do you ever dread talking to your spouse about certain issues because you know it's going to end up in a fight or a big argument? I'm Coach Mike Dixon and I want to share with you the two critical communication mistakes the vast majority of couples make and they don't even know it and it leads to insecurity, disrespect and resentment in your marriage. And it doesn't matter your financial state, whether you are rich or poor, it doesn't matter your faith, whether you are Catholic or Protestant, it doesn't matter your race, whether you are black, white, red or yellow, we all have to deal with these communication issues. Have you ever been frustrated or upset or disappointed, even depressed because you tried to talk to your spouse about something and they just didn't get it or it just went on and on and, and nothing got settled? Me too. I, I've been there. And early in my marriage, I made these same mistakes that most couples make today. But I've learned some skills in how to overcome them. And so we're going to share that with you. All right. Let's get started. The first mistake that the vast majority of couples make is a bad approach. In other words, when we come to our spouse, to talk about an issue or to confront them about something, we make our spouse feel like they are being attacked or like they are being ignored. In other words, they feel like we are accusing them or blaming them or criticizing them about something. Sweetheart, we got to talk. We got to talk right now. Or they feel like their feelings, their values, their thoughts on the subject are totally being ignored. And what happens is either they feel like they have to defend themselves and say, no, that wasn't my fault. I didn't do that. You're wrong about that. They criticize you. They flip it on you. Or they just totally ignore you. You're talking to them. And so because you're ignoring their feelings, they start ignoring what you're saying. And you may be speaking to them and they may be totally gone, just blanked out. And you're wondering, you're not listening to me? What's wrong with you? It's because they feel ignored. They feel that you are not valuing their thoughts and feelings on the subject. The other problem that we have in communication is bad timing. We just don't speak to our spouse or share things or discuss things at the right time. We come when they are not feeling good. Either they are upset about something or they are tired or they are preoccupied with something else. And so it makes the situation just totally erupt when we start talking about things and it's a bad time. And, and I was one who was very bad at this. Even when we were having a discussion with, with my wife early in our marriage and she would get upset and we get into an argument and I would try to go fix it. Oh, we're going we're gonna to talk about this now. We're going to settle this now. It was a bad time. And the problem with both of these issues is it doesn't matter what your intention is. You normally don't intend to make your spouse feel attacked or feel ignored, but it's their perception that matters. And because of their perception, there's a certain reaction that they have toward what you're saying. And in order to change that, we have to change the whole situation. We have to come to them in a way that they don't feel like they're attacked or ignored or that's the wrong time. And so, Coach Mike, you may be asking, how do we overcome these problems? I'm glad you asked. Today, we don't have enough time to share everything with you, but I know you want to have a great marriage. And I want you to have a great marriage. But a great marriage just doesn't happen. It just doesn't fall out of the sky. You don't just find a great marriage. You build one. And today I want to help you build the marriage that you've always desired to have. And that starts with getting some new information. Because it's new information that helps us to change our present situation. And whatever area in life you want to be successful in, there's only two ways to be successful. And it doesn't matter whether you're being successful in your profession or financially successful or relationally successful. There's only two ways to be successful in any area of life. Number one, you can do it on your own through trial and error. You can make all the mistakes and learn from those mistakes, get back up and try to correct them. 
And I'm sure if that's the case with you, that's probably why you're here today because it hasn't worked too well for you doing it that route. It didn't work for me. I'm a, I'm a witness. The second option is to get a coach, get a mentor, a teacher, a guide, someone who's already done it, who's been there. They've succeeded in that area. Get them to teach you what they know. And that's what I want to do. I want to share with you the things that I've learned from over 20 years of marriage. And I know I don't look like I've been married that long, but it's true. I've been married for over 20 years. I've coached couples for over a decade. I want to share with you what I've learned from my experience and my education and things that I've innovated because I had a rough time trying to learn and have the marriage that I desired. And the things, some of the things I learned in school didn't work for me. So I had to innovate my own strategies. And I've shared these with couples for over the years and thousands of couples have been changed because of the lessons, the strategies that I've taught them. And I want to share them with you. So what I'm going to do today is when you fill out the form on this page, I'm going to send you a free video of what we're going to go through in depth of these two mistakes and then show you how to overcome them. If you have a problem with sh talking to your spouse and maybe you've talked to them one time, two times, three times, four times, five times about the same thing and they just, they just don't get it. Well, there's a strategy to that. A strategy to fix it and solve it so it's not a problem. You don't have to talk about the same thing over and over again. And I want to share these things with you so you can immediately begin to see a change in your marriage. So fill out the form on this page and then I'm going to send in your email a link to a video that you can listen to, you can watch whenever you desire and it will begin to transform your marriage, I promise you. And this is not something I'm just saying lightly. I believe this will help you take your marriage to another level. But this is only going to be offered for a limited time. So don't put it off. Don't say, I'll, I'll come back and do that next week. No, do it now and start seeing a change in your relationship today. I'm Coach Mike Dixon. I'm praying for peace in your home. I pray for prosperity in your life. I pray for passion in your marriage. God bless you.